OK, let's say we're looking at a star that's 10 parsecs away, and we've seen a little dot near it. And we've tracked that the star is actually in orbit around it, so we think it's a planet. And we want to work out how big that planet is. OK, so how we do that? What we can measure from this planet is a flux, that is the energy reaching the Earth per unit time. And let's say the flux from this planet is 9.53 times 10 to the minus 14, and that'll be in units of watts per meter squared. OK, so we need to work out how big the planet is going to be. Our first step is to work out the luminosity of the planet, how much power it's actually putting out. We're assuming this is infrared, so it's actually emission from the planet and not just scattered light coming from sunlight bouncing off and coming our way. So we know that flux is equal to luminosity over 4 pi d squared, where d is a distance. So d is 10 parsecs. Rearranging that, we find that the luminosity equals 4 pi d squared times the flux. So a parsec is 3.086 by 10 to the 16 meters. 10 of them at the bottom squared times 4 pi. Turns out that the luminosity, so it comes out as 1.14 by 10 to the 23 watts. So that's how much power our planet is putting out, but how big is it? Well, if we assume it's a black body, the power put out by the planet is going to be a sigma t to the fourth. So we have two unknowns, the area of the planet, which depends on its size and its temperature. Let's assume in this case that we know that the star and the planet are very young, and therefore that we expect from theoretical grounds a temperature to be about 2000 Kelvin. Power here is the luminosity. So we get that the area equals the luminosity over sigma the Stefan Boltzmann constant t to the fourth. And the area is equal to area of a sphere, a super spherical planet, so that's 4 pi r squared. So we get that r equals the square root of L over 4 pi sigma t to the fourth. And if we plug in numbers, that comes out as a radius of 10 to the 8 meters, so a little bit bigger than Jupiter. Notice that if we'd assume a different temperature, we could have got a very different answer. So unless we know the temperature accurately, it's very hard to get a good handle on the size of a planet from imaging.